You know, considering how deep we're going into this facility, I'm kind of starting to get worried. Harsh, rigorous training. It might seem cool. It might seem barbaric. But the truth is, animals like it. They love it. Show these animals leadership. See what I mean about these maps being confusing? I mean, yeah, it says where we are. That makes sense. If we enter there, and I guess... Oh, I guess if you actually look at the maps and pay some attention to them, they're not that bad, but just at an overall view... And just look at that! How confusing does that look? All those polygons. Ugh. Now entering endurance. And yeah, I'm not gonna worry about saving right now. We got ninjas in this game. And a nice ass. Keep her down. She doesn't really bounce as much as the cafeteria lady. She still bounces pretty good though. Gotta hand that to her. No, I forgot the finishing move. Um, what did they want me to do? It was square, square, square. And L2? No. Let me actually check what the ability was. Sweep finish. Square, 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 L2. So it was L2. Then how come it didn't do anything there? Okay, right, time to really rack up that money now. It looked like he started to do something there. He kind of swings a little bit, but not much. Let's test it out on this guy. Okay, so just hold on to L, not just a single press. Got it. Alright, so. We got a new move that I'm going to try out a little bit. I have no clue what I'm doing in here. Just a new area to destroy. That's really all I've got to go on. Wait, fire extinguisher. Load up. $900 fire extinguisher. Who prices these things? That is not how much one costs. I don't care what it's filled with. There's no way a fire extinguisher costs $900. That just screams of being unsafe. No one's going to be able to afford a fire extinguisher if it costs that much. Anytime a fire breaks out, you're going to have to decide. Is that fire actually worth $900? Ooh, big blue button. I press the big blue button. What does big blue button do? I see no effect. And Ninja is alive again. Now, if I kill her a second... Or not really kill her, but knock her out a second time, she does, in fact, give me even more... Hypersynax. So I, if I really wanted to, I could probably farm these people for a lot of levels. Now let's find out how many we got. 265. Wow. I'm thinking I might want to put this on auto. Yeah, let's put this on auto. And then distribute this to... Not really save any... But give most of it to Redmond. More damage. I think that's a good idea. The more power we got, the better. Fifteen damage now. Yay. And about a little more than half till we get 25 health. Although I really don't know if we're the appropriate levels at this point. In fact, I don't even know the max level in this game. Should I be saving points? Should I be spinning them? Am I over-leveled right now? Am I under-leveled? Again, just break everything. Knock people out. Farm. Yes, I'm a very bad weasel. Someone needs to spank the weasel. Oh, that's his name! Yuck, yuck, yuck. See, Gretchen Clank's not the only game that knows their double entendres. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you can actually farm these. It makes it very exploitable. So I'm not going to do that again. Once I've taken out an enemy, he's going to stay out. And if he does end up reviving himself, I'm going to ignore him. 
I'm not gonna fight him again and get more hyper snacks. I don't feel like exploiting the game. Oh, get that juggle on. Really showing the benefits of that extra strength. To able to take that guy out in a couple of seconds. Oh, I love this game. That is another thing I just remembered, that you do need to free all the animals in this game. I don't really remember if it's mandatory or if it's just some sort of side, ob side objective. I'm sure that to an extent it probably is a side objective. Because I do remember seeing a statistic that said animals freed, so I'm assuming that part of it may be actually optional. But if I make it stop, then I no longer have any videos to do. And people want to see more of Whiplash. They asked for it three years ago, but they did ask for it. Now how exactly do I free these monkeys? Yeah, breaking that's not gonna work. I can't actually just unplug it. I'll just jam the rabbit into the spokes. Sure, why not? I'm so sorry, Redman. Look, it's almost like he's turning on fire in there. How hot was it in that machine? Be free, my monkey pals! Any of you na- What the hell? Were they just throwing green crap at me? What's with that green stuff being thrown? And- Uh, what? Radioactive poop! that caused his head to enlarge in. I'm starting to think that freeing these monkeys was a very bad idea. What have I just brought upon society? I mean, at least they're not turning into cauliflower heads, but giant heads are still pretty bad. Those monkeys are getting sprayed in the nether regions? I didn't really catch that last word. But I'm gonna just say it was they're getting sprayed in the nether regions. Because it sounds funnier than pro what it probably was. Thankfully, Bob Barker's not around, or else they'd be spayed in their nether regions. I got dignity for sale. Dignity in one, the price to move. Yeah, dignity's been thrown out the window long ago, Redman. Now, I'm wondering, maybe we... It'd be nice if we could actually put these scientists on that experimental... Uh, sorry. Experimental table. Now, any problem with just waiting? I mean, they're getting blasted right into the head. He's trying to free him, he can't really do a thing. It's up to me. Only two animals can save the day, starring Tom Cruise and John Travolta as the animals. Can we just break that? How do you break that? The glass should be destroyed by now. Unless, of course, we need to destroy all the machinery first. Yeah, I don't know how that's still working. What the hell is going on with Redman? He has gone berserk. Dude. Lay off the caffeine. You're giving the Duracell bunny a run for his money. Okay, so plan B? Maybe destroy it this way. Nope, that didn't do anything, I don't think. No, that is doing something. It just doesn't seem to be... Oh, there we go. Now it's broken. I was swinging it the wrong way. More computers! Fairly cheap computers. Only 2200 for that many. What was it, like five? Guess that's the benefit of buying in bulk. Just a shame they didn't think about doing that with their fire extinguishers. And I've already taken you out once, so I'm not going to collect your hyper snacks. Nope, leaving that alone. I've already knocked you out once. Not cheating the system. Damn it. I did not mean to do that. It seems so weird that I'm actually avoiding leveling up. Just be. Again, it just seems like something that's being exploited in the game. And I don't like. <laughs> I don't like exploiting games, me? 
Now, I love to exploit games. That's one of the things I normally go after. But I, I think there's a big difference between exploiting a game to gain an unfair advantage and breaking a level in order to show that there may be alternate ways to do things or even gain access to areas that you should not have access to. And I think for me, the one that gives you an unfair advantage actually diminishes the fun factor of the game by making it easier as opposed to the other type of exploit that just opens up new possibilities. Shiny red button. Ten years ago, the head of Genron proudly developed the groundbreaking Chuko program. Animals were trained to conduct experiments on fellow animals. Imagine. Controversy avoided with an easy push of a button. Press a button, get a cookie. Press a button, get a cookie. Press a button, get a cookie. <gasps> Press a button, get a cookie. I don't care if I'm torturing the monkeys. They were throwing radioactive poop. They deserve to be tortured. I want that cookie anyways. Internet cookies. Video game cookies. All the cookies. Chocolate chip cheesecake cookie. Mmm. Finish her off. Okay. Can I have a cheesecake cookie, please? Not chocolate, because as I said before, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate in general, not good for animals. Give me cheesecake. Cheesecake cookie. Mm. All the red buttons. Even if it's not really the red button I need to press, all the red buttons. I just want that cookie. I'll even settle for macadamia nut. Did she just stand up? What the hell was that? Okay. Anyways. Don't know what happened there. No, you need to swing at it from this angle, I think. Wait, how exactly? I guess I can do it from here. Yeah, kill the monkeys! Now, where's my cookie? Um. I didn't mean to torture you, dude. You know. Okay, good. I was kind of worried that I might have had to fight the big giant gorilla. And I've already fought one today in the cafeteria. I've lost him. You've lost him. How do you lose a gigantic 1,000 pound gorilla? His name is not Magilla. He's not for sale. You are not Mr. Pebbles. There ain't no little girl looking for him. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore, but how do you lose a 1,000 pound gorilla? Have I actually freed these monkeys, though? I mean, it looks like their cages are open. They should be running out free. But for whatever reason, they just want to hang out inside their cages. Okay. Hopefully that actually counts towards me rescuing them. Oh, dude. Do not play with your food before you eat it. You don't really need to be doing that much damage to him. He's treating him like a tire. Oh god. I'm also kind of worried that there might be friendly fire. He might actually be able to kill me and use me as a chew toy. Bit of an inconsistency in this game. Some stairs you can actually jump, or some stairs you can actually just walk up, other stairs you have to jump over. A little more consistency would be nice.